Welcome to Neo Tariffs. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. The news hit Brussels like a shockwave, reverberating through the corridors of power and unsettling the city's usual calm. Diplomats, analysts, and business leaders alike scrambled to make sense of what had just happened. On October 22, 2025, Moscow and Beijing announced a landmark deal. Russia's United Engine Corporation would co-produce the powerful PD-35 jet engine exclusively for China's C919 passenger jet. This was a move that few had anticipated, and it sent immediate ripples through the global aviation industry. This was more than a business deal, it was a bold geopolitical statement, a declaration that the old rules no longer applied. The world was witnessing the birth of a new axis in high-tech manufacturing, the EU, long comfortable in its aviation duopoly with the US, now faced a new, determined competitor. For decades, Airbus and Boeing had dominated the skies, but suddenly, their supremacy was under threat. Emergency meetings erupted across Europe as leaders realized the global aviation order had shifted overnight. The sense of urgency was palpable, with policymakers debating how to respond to this unexpected challenge. For years, Europe believed China's reliance on Western engines would keep its ambitions in check. The assumption was that technological dependence would act as a break on China's rise in aviation, but Russia's move changed the game, threatening Airbus and the vast European supply chain. Suddenly, the prospect of a self-sufficient Chinese aviation industry was no longer a distant possibility. It was becoming a reality. The timing was no accident. Just as the EU prepared new trade restrictions on Chinese tech, Russia and China signaled they would not bow to Western pressure. Their partnership was a direct response to mounting sanctions and growing isolation. The partnership aimed to break the West's technological monopoly and create a multipolar world. It was a vision of global industry no longer dictated by a handful of Western powers, but shaped by new alliances and shifting loyalties. The C919, once a symbol of China's ambition, now embodied a powerful new alliance. It stood as proof that technological innovation and strategic cooperation could upend decades of Western dominance. This alliance could redraw supply chains and challenge Europe's industrial supremacy. The ripple effects would be felt not just in aviation, but across industries and continents, as companies and countries reconsidered their dependencies. For the EU, the era of comfortable assumptions was over. The continent now faced a future where its economic and technological leadership could no longer be taken for granted. The fallout had only just begun. As dawn broke over Europe, it was clear that the world had entered a new and uncertain chapter, one defined by defiance, ambition, and the forging of unexpected partnerships. What exactly is the C919, and why is it making headlines around the world? The C919 is not just another airplane, it represents China's bold ambition to compete with the giants of the aviation industry. Designed to rival the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737, these narrowbody jets have long dominated global air travel, carrying millions of passengers every day. Built by Comac, the C919 is a project of immense national pride and a cornerstone of China's ambitious Made in China 2025 strategy, which aims to transform the country into a leader in high-tech manufacturing. If successful, the C919 would not only mark China's arrival as a high-tech powerhouse, but also inspire a new generation of engineers and innovators. However, the C919's Achilles heel has always been its engines, which are sourced from Western firms like CFM International making China reliant on foreign technology for a critical component. This dependency has given Western countries significant leverage, meaning a single export ban could potentially ground the entire C919 fleet and stall China's aviation ambitions. But now, a new deal with Russia changes the equation, offering China a path toward true technological independence by developing non-Western engines. If China can successfully field a world-class jet powered by its own or Russian engines, it could disrupt the global aviation market and challenge the current duopoly. The Dragon's wings are spreading wider than ever, and the entire world is watching this new chapter in aviation history unfold. Russia's role in the global aviation industry is pivotal, especially as the world's geopolitical landscape shifts. The ambitious PD-35 engine project offers China a crucial escape from its dependency on Western technology and suppliers, marking a turning point for its aviation sector. 
Russia contributes decades of hard-earned aviation expertise, while China brings vast financial resources and unmatched manufacturing scale to the table. This partnership isn't just about developing a single engine, it's about laying the foundation for China's future ability to independently design and produce advanced jet engines for generations to come. For Russia, this collaboration opens doors to China's enormous market and provides much-needed investment helping to revitalize its own aviation industry. Together, these two nations are forging an Eastern Bloc in aviation, effectively bypassing Western sanctions, export controls, and technological barriers. The PD-35 engine will not only power the C919, but will also serve as the backbone for future generations of both Chinese and Russian jets. This deep collaboration insulates both nations from mounting Western pressure, giving them greater independence and resilience. Russia isn't just helping China build a new plane, it's helping to construct an entire empire in the sky, one that could challenge Western dominance. The balance of power in global aviation is unmistakably shifting, with the East rising as a formidable force. Europe's response has been swift and anxious. In France and Germany, the deal is seen as a direct threat to Airbus and thousands of jobs. The fear, China will use its domestic market to give the C919 an unfair edge, then undercut Airbus globally. Security concerns loom large. Jet engine tech is dual use with military implications. The EU is debating tariffs, increased R&D for Airbus, and reducing foreign dependencies. The Russia-China partnership is a wake-up call, exposing Europe's vulnerabilities. The line between commercial rivalry and military competition is blurring. Europe must adapt or risk losing its place in the skies. This partnership is a bold move on the global chessboard. Russia and China are forging a new axis to counterbalance the US and EU. The C919 PD35 project is a blueprint for an alternative, non-Western tech ecosystem. Countries worldwide may soon face a choice, buy Western jets with strings attached or opt for the C919, bundled with Chinese and Russian incentives. This could split the world into competing tech blocks, stifling global innovation and collaboration. For Europe, the emergence of a self-sufficient Sino-Russian bloc threatens its economic model. The EU must rethink its dependencies and strategic position. The skies are shifting, and Europe faces turbulent geopolitical weather. The rules of global trade are being rewritten. The C919 deal is straining global alliances. The US and EU share concerns, but differ on how hard to push back. Neutral countries will find it harder to balance East and West. Aircraft purchases now signal geopolitical alignment. The EU may respond by deepening integration and boosting joint research and defense. Russia and China will likely expand cooperation into other high-tech fields. Global institutions like the WTO may struggle to mediate these new disputes. The deal could erode the rules-based order that has governed trade for decades. One aviation deal is reshaping the world's alliances. The world now faces three possible futures. First, an aviation cold war with rival blocks, export controls, and divided skies. Second, competitive coexistence, a fierce triopoly, price wars and constant tension, but no outright conflict. Third, strategic cooperation where shared challenges like climate change force a return to collaboration. The EU must protect its interests and innovate without triggering a global trade war. The C919 is more than a plane, it's a test of Europe's resilience and adaptability. The choices made in Brussels, Washington, Beijing and Moscow will shape the skies for decades. The new world order is taking flight.